shaking like jelly. Hundred bands of Chanel, but I'm still shaking ass in a deli. I Spice, her music is trash. Not like Manchester City though, we were absolutely brilliant. A 2-0 victory at the bridge. I thought it would be a draw, no Rodri. I thought it would be a tough game, but damn! First of all, I'm going to begin with the Chelsea players. First up on the docket is their midfield. 300 million pounds on Caicedo, Lavia, and Enzo Fernandez. And there is literally nothing to show for it today. I gotta be honest, when Erling Haaland got that yellow card for barely scraping that Chelsea player, it was a foul, 100%, but a yellow card is way too harsh. And none were given to Caicedo and other Chelsea players for completely clobbering Kevin De Bruyne in the midfield. I, I mean, come on. I thought Nicholas Jackson was playing some really good hold-up play. He was very strong. I love him on the turn, though. He's very strong. Uh, some great passes out wide. Unfortunately, some of his decision-making, no, they were very questionable. That was just so lazy on that Palmer shot. That should have been 1-1. One, one. Uh, Ederson parried the shot. Ederson did not have a good game today. I'm going to get into that. But Nicholas Jackson, lazy. Get on side. I thought Coco Puffs was uh, that uh, that dumbass song bit you in the ass, didn't it? Haaland, tiembla, que viene Cucurea. He scored right in front of your face. That was beautiful. Cucurea got absolutely done by Savinho. Oh, Cucurea did not have a good game. I thought Robert Sanchez was... No, he was awful today. I was about to say he was good up until that Kovacic shot. A couple of misplaced passes here or there. I thought he was having a decent game. Very good save on a Doku shot that was deflected. But that that uh, that save from Kovacic's shot was abysmal. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Oh my goodness. This is not the Cole Palmer of last season. Albeit, it's just the first game of the season. I'm not going to say anything mean. But he was quiet today. He was absolutely quiet today, Cole Palmer. He wasn't getting into the right position and it's not really his fault for the most part again it's a football player it's your job to play well but he was playing out wide Enzo Mariska needs to play him in the middle and the quicker that Chelsea does that the quicker that Cole Palmer can show you his brilliance from last season Enzo Fernandez really pissed me off today it was so frustrating watching him play because I've seen his talent in the World Cup I saw his talent for a bit in Portugal but this is not the same player at all. This is not the same player at all. What is he doing marking Erling Holland? What is he doing uh, trying to get in, into uh, trying to get into a scuffle with Erling Holland? Why? It's just weird. And I think he dived like two or three times today. Come on, man. Really? Chelsea played that awful today that Todd Bowley literally picked up his things and walked before the game ended. He literally just walked out because he was tired of this. What does that mean? Chelsea will be buying another 25 players within the next 24 hours. Lots of here we goes coming. As far as Manchester City goes, I am going to quickly talk about the general play and then go into a couple of players that I really want to talk about. First of all, did we dominate the game? Not entirely. Not entirely. It was a lot of back and forth, especially in that first half. However, we did keep at least 60% possession. The thing is, we did control the ball as soon as we scored, as soon as Holland scored that first goal, and towards like the 50th minute and onwards, we looked a lot more in control. Again, first game of the season, I am 100% satisfied with today's performance. I thought it would be a 2-2 draw. I will obviously take three points to start off a Premier League season, especially against Chelsea at the bridge. First up, Erling Haaland. Nothing more to say other than beautiful finish, beautiful finish. I thought he took too many touches when he got the ball. Nice little dink. Right in Cucurea's face over Robert Sanchez. Beautiful finish. That is what we need from our number nine. Hopefully he can deliver a lot more goals like that. Because I've seen him take too many touches in the past. And he did it today. But he's still, he, he was just a tiny bit lucky. But his skill and his quality of chipping that ball showed. He was brilliant today, Erling Holland. Next up is Mateo Kovacic. This was my favorite tweet uh, that I saw on Twitter today uh, by a um, Manchester United fan and a very, very good YouTuber, Joe. I, honestly, you all might not like what I'm about to say, but I was actually going to be pretty critical of Mateo Kovacic's performance. But in that second half, he definitely changed my mind. He was losing the ball a lot in that first half. So many times where he was taking too many touches, trying to dribble 
One too many players losing the ball. I saw the frustration out of Pep Guardiola and Lilo on the bench, but he stepped it up in that second half big time. There was one specific moment where Kovacic received the ball. Chelsea player was coming on. Akanji was like was like drifting onto the left, and he sort of faked them out. He just stood there for like half a second, and he made a better pass. That is the that is the intelligence of uh, Mateo Kovacic. That is what you get for a thirty year old senior player who's won so many Champions Leagues and titles in his career. What a goal! What a goal! As soon as I saw him take that touch, as soon as I saw that space open up for him, I knew he would just eat that up because that is the player Mateo Kovacic is. Next up is Savinho. Amazing, amazing debut. So many people, even Demba Ba, were uh, just in awe of uh, Savinho, and so was I. I wasn't totally shocked. I was just shocked at, at at the thought of him doing it in his first game in the Premier League. All right, people are calling him Riyad Mahrez with pace. That should terrify the Premier League for the next five, six, seven years because he is astonishing. There was this one play where he dribbled past like two or three players, left Chelsea players for dead. It was absolute. It was an absolute massacre. Speaking of an absolute massacre, the one guy that Chelsea could not contain for their life, Jeremy Doku. Oh, if this guy gets better at his final decision making if he if he gets better at his final shot we are potentially looking at one of the next great wingers of the premier league i am there ladies and gentlemen he could potentially get i'm definitely not calling him that now if he can get a shot this is going to be a superstar in the premier league for the next couple of years if he can get that shot he is so quick he is so good he is so he's like a, he's like a little rascal just going through weaving in and out of players it's so amazing to watch it there is no way i'm going to be making this video without mentioning rico lewis what a player what an absolute brilliant performance Brilliant, brilliant defensive performance by Rico Lewis and attacking performance by Rico Lewis. Getting the ball, having the confidence to dribble, use your pace, drift that out to Foden, give, uh, have a give and go to him, get the ball, receive it, and deliver a cross in. The confidence to do that at such a young age, he got that mentality from Manchester City early on last season, and it is showing again this season. Amazing, 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 amazing defensive display by Rico Lewis. The guy was on fire today. Brilliant performance by Ruben Diaz, Akanji, Gavardial, and the rest of our players. All I will say is that Ederson, not a good game by Ederson today. I don't care that he didn't concede a goal. That's not the standards here at Manchester City. A lot of drop balls. A lot of uh, shaky saves, to uh, put it mildly. A lot of shaky saves. Saves that any professional goalkeeper should be making without question, without difficulty. Seem to be troubling him a lot, especially that Enzo Fernandez shot at the uh, at the end of the second half. You gotta catch that, man! Come on. And yes, that concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I am just so satisfied today. I mean, I like I said, I predicted a two-two draw to get a th to get three points to look so comfortable in this win. Um, to make a lot of their star players quiet. I mean, Nkunku was quiet today. Cole Palmer was quiet today. Fantastic job by Pep Guardiola and the Manchester City players. Of course, hit the like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you are new. Also, let me know down in the comments down below if you want to see the return of football Twitter this season. I know you all loved it uh, last season, but I uh, I want to know if that if that same desire is still there. So let me know down in the comments down below if you want to see that. I will definitely be putting a lot of content for other clubs in those videos, but it will obviously include Manchester City in every single video. But we'll be talking a lot about the Premier League especially a few certain clubs and a few certain players so let me know if you want to see that series return and of course thank you all so much for watching i'll see you all next time